six, 28. Six, 28 and 30 seconds. Did you finish the book? Yes, but not the book report. Yes, so. I will. Morning. I have all night. I want you to pack tonight. That'll take 10 minutes. Well, I don't want you to forget anything. I don't see why I have to stay at Rainer's in the first place. You're only going to be gone for four days. Because your mother wouldn't take an easy breath the entire time we're in Alaska. Everybody my age stays home alone. Except you. Except me. Mm. Oh, Mr. Wonderful is early. Aren't you going to finish your breakfast? Mom, nobody eats breakfast. Except you. <sighs> right. Hmm. See ya. Bye. You had a restless night. Yeah, the nightmares are back. Maybe you ought to see Dr. Mallory again. Oh, why? I mean, she could never fully explain them before. You going to the office? Yeah, I'm going to clean up a few things before our trip. And talk to Steve? It's a good time to ask for the promotion. It will give him time to think about it while we're out of town. Well, maybe. Why is it so hard for you? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe today. Honey, you're not asking for something you haven't earned. Oh, come on, lighten up. It's only four days. I've got all the stories I've been tracking right here on my desk. You won't even notice that I'm gone. Lee. Yeah. State Patrol just called. Joe's had an accident. Oh, my God. How bad is it? He's dead. He was coming back from San Paulo. Working my story so I could go away. I gotta go see his family. Can you hold the fort? Yeah. Nick, I saw it. What? That was the dream that I had last night, my nightmare. I saw the car come around the curve. I saw the crash. With Joe Walter? I don't know. Yes, yes, I think so. Oh, maybe, maybe just see. Uh, you right know, Nick, it. I know what I saw. You're upset. I'm terribly sorry about Joe. I know how you feel about it. You know, I just feel so guilty. It's the first time that I've ever asked anyone to cover for me, and then this happens. Honey, it is not your fault. I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't go on this trip. I have to stay here for Joe's funeral. You'll be great. You're a wonderful speaker. I'll be better with you in the room. I am sorry, Nick. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I understand. It's your job, it's an important story, you have a deadline. But it was just that we needed this time together. Maybe next month. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, that's 
set yet. But Joe was doing the story for me and I have to start the whole thing over again because there was nothing on his tape. Oh, sweetie, don't miss your trip. Have Steve run some filler. Mm. It's too late. Nick left. Well, this is really going to miss my cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I came by for some help. You know San Paolo. San Paolo? Yeah, I have to drive up there for this interview. Don't go. It's really a strange place. Reina. I cannot not do my job because you think a whole town is strange. Do I bombard you with my spiritual sensitivity? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> you heard of a healer up there called Saro? He just moved into the area a couple of months ago. I thought maybe through your network you might. I don't know him. You know, I was going to give you this for your birthday, but I think you could really use it now. According to my grandmother, it'll bring you good luck and ward off the evil spirits. Oh, well, that's really pretty. Thank you. Call me when you get back. I mean it. I'm looking for a town named San Paulo. You're there. This is a town? Yeah. We keep forgetting to build a shopping mall. <laughs> I'm supposed to meet a man named Saro. You sick? <laughs> is he a doctor? Some say he's a healer. I say he's a freak. Uh, where does he live? A couple miles. It's the only place up there.
Oh. Senora Lindsay. I hope you would find me. Come in. I understand that you write for Southwest Style. It's a tourist magazine, isn't it? Yes, it is. It could be much more, but the owner is... Um... Is what? I'm sorry. You're not interested in what's wrong with the magazine. Oh, I'm always interested in potential. I understand you're considered a healer. I gave a sick local child some tea once. He felt better. Legends are easily made in these hills. May I offer you some tea? Sure. I don't let just anyone interview. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. This is delicious. My own blend. Is this the tea that cured the sick child? I really don't remember. Do you mind if I take this interview? No. Go right ahead. Sarah, your first name or last name? Does it matter? It was a gift from my father. What does it mean? Sarah is an ancient Portuguese name meaning healer. How many uh, people live in San Paulo right now? About 16. Hmm. These small mountain villages are all dying. Only ghosts meet there anymore. Do you believe San Paulo is haunted? All places are haunted. Have you ever sensed that? Oh, I don't believe in spiritual mumbo jumbo. Whether you like it or not, the past, present, and future all coexist in the spirit world. Well, I'm not sure if I like it or not. How did you end up here? My good fortune. And you moved around a lot before this? I was searching. For what? My heart. My core. Mm -hmm. If you can understand that. Did you find it? I hadn't. Now I may have. I don't feel so good. Thank you. 
You fainted. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I still feel a little woozy. Here, give me your hand. I do feel better. But now, unfortunately, I have no more time for you today. But I have so many questions. You'll come back. I'm not sure. Careful driving down the mountain. The turns come a lot faster than you expect. down the mountain. You left this on the table. Thank you. You will come back. Hi, Nick Lindsay's room, please. Oh. Yeah, I will. Uh, tell him Lee called. Nothing urgent. All right. Thanks, bye. stay for dinner? She hates when I ask in front of you. Sure. I told you. Very cool. I can't decide between my famous bean mush or my knockoff of your country captain. Hmm. Well, we're talking beans and franks or chicken and rice. Um. Beans and franks sounds good, I guess. Great. <laughs> I'll get it. Um, if you want to go ahead and start, you know. You know, somehow she always manages that. She starts it, but then I end up making it. Do you cook? Hi. Mm. How are you? Mom, it's Raina. Hi. I had these burritos ready for Melissa's visit. Oh, well, that solves our dinner problem. Guess so. Why don't you put them in the oven and heat them up, okay? Can you stay? Let me just ask you uh -huh. something. How was the interview? 
Oh, uh, kind of, kind of mysterious. L a little strange. I mean, certainly not my best one by a long shot, but I'm sure that I can get something out of it. Hey, where's the ring? Damn. It wasn't loose. I don't know. You wore it to the mountains? Yeah, but I, I didn't take it off. Oh, Raina. I'm so sorry. I must have lost it. The saddle? He couldn't have taken it. No, no. How could he? I, I, I don't think so. Forget about the ring. Just don't go up there again. If you need any more material on healers, talk to me. having the dreams again. Nightmares. Still about wolves and ravens? Yeah, but I had another one. Did you know Joe Walthrop? Not personally. I know he worked for your magazine. Dr. Mallory, I saw his death. I was asleep, and I saw it just the way it was. His car came around the curve, and then it flipped over, and it was exactly the way it happened. And then when I got to work, Steve told me that Joe was dead. And then why would I imagine Joe Walthrop? There are a number of explanations. Yeah, but I know, we'll but I know. delve into this. In the meantime, if you're having trouble sleeping, I can prescribe a sedative. You know, I know what I saw. I know what I saw, and it is not normal for people to visualize accidents exactly the way they happen. I find you here. I brought you this. They're very old poems. About the spirit. About the mind. I thought they'd be of some help to you in your work.
Thanks. It's late. Time to go home, don't you think? Soft. That's what I remember. And so wonderfully innocent. Another soul yearns to be set free. Yaguda miña querida terna, o tempo es cierto. And now the time has come, my darling Terena. I have waited so long for you to come back to me. And now I won't let you go. Article, uh -huh. Not your usual energy, but it's passable. So you've done a lot of research. Problem is there's too much research, not enough local angle. Guy seems pretty quotable. Don't you got any more? Well, not really. Well, get some. Pepper it in. Oh, and uh, shoot some pictures. Uh, black and white shadows. The mystical thing. Uh, look, I gotta go. Uh, let me know when you got it. Here's the last to go in. You've got to remember to resample that photo. It blew out oh, right Oh, Steve, in the... uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Excuse me. Excuse us. Can we send uh, somebody else up to Saros to take these pictures? I'd really rather not go up there. Why not? Well, I got a lot of work to do. I got this copy to rewrite, and, uh, you know, we got a deadline tomorrow. Look, it's only going to take a couple hours. Besides, I don't have anyone I can spare. Yeah, well, I would really rather not go back there. Lee. This is your assignment. Now, what's the problem? I've never seen you act like this before. I thought you wanted more responsibility. I do, but this guy, he is... What? He is difficult, and I just don't think I can get more out of him. Well, you're going to have to try. Now, this is your baby. Tom, can I see you in my office in five minutes? Now, look, Lee, I know you've got it in you. Yeah, well, why don't you go up there with me, okay? Because he's weird. I'm just uncomfortable being alone with him. Now, look, we need this story. Go up there, finish the story, take the photos, and be done with it. Oh, hi. 
Hi. I didn't know you were coming over. I've got an interview. I'm in a hurry. I'm sorry. You're not going back up there, are you? Raina, it's my job. I've got an interview to finish. Besides, Eva's on my back. Lee, I've already told you, San Paolo is a place of enormous spiritual aura. Raina, get off it. Lee, I know you think it's bizarre, but I've studied cultures that revolve around spiritual things, powers of good and powers of evil. Just don't go up there. Rena, it's a job. It has nothing to do with evil spirits. You didn't tell me the truth about your visit with Sado. I did. What happened, Lee? Nothing. What happened? I passed out for a while. I don't know what happened. Where'd you get this? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. As I said on the phone, I uh, just have to ask you a couple more questions and take a few more pictures. But uh, I don't have much time. I'm glad you came. Should we start with the pictures? It's up to you. Yeah, well, how about right here? That's nice. Something natural.
Lois? Don't you knock? He'll excuse us, Kevin. Mom, wait. You you can't do this. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Linson. Yes, I'm sure. But we weren't doing not anything. Not now, Melissa. Can't we? It's talk? not the time. I'll call you. I will never forgive you for You've this. You've stepped way out of bounds, Melissa, way out of bounds. I thought you had more control. Oh, if you think I was you going to. You barely know this boy. That's not true. If this is our home, and you have violated it. If I hadn't gone in there, God oh, knows what would have happened. I am not going to stand here and defend myself. If I hadn't I come in anything. there, God knows what would have happened. Mother, just get away from me. Oh, don't you dare talk to me like that, Melissa. Melissa. <sighs> I'm really, I'm very sorry. I just, uh, it was just so unexpected. I handled it so badly. I was upset with my job and with what's been going on. If you only knew how many times I've thought of saying all the right things to you. You have, you already have. I just never wanted you to feel ashamed or guilty about those feelings. Honestly. I wasn't going to do anything. I know. I just wanted to protect you. I wanted to be right. And beautiful. I don't, I don't think you get to control that more. Like everything else. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> like everything else. I'll apologize to Kevin. Oh, you don't have to. I want to. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too, Mom.
Mallory can't help you. Last time I saw her, she prescribed a tranquilizer. Psychic dreams don't compute scientifically, huh? Coincidence. Just one of those things. Not explainable. Not in her world. So, you got your interview? What else? Okay, don't tell me. I have no excuses. Things are happening I can't even begin to understand. Try me. Well, this time there were some candles, some weird smoke. Last time there was the tea. Doesn't matter. The Lee you know would never have done what I did. Please don't tell me you confessed to Nick. Not yet. He's in Alaska. I've been trying to reach him. I gotta tell him. Don't try to relieve your pain by Come on, Raina, Raina, we're different. We're just different about It would be a things. mistake. Tell me about wolves and ravens. I know you know. My subconscious is working overtime. I'm dreaming about them. In animal medicine, a wolf is a protector of all that is good, and a raven is a teacher of magic. Good magic and bad. Can a healer be a magician? Yes, or a witch, a brujo. And something called a shapeshifter, he can turn himself into anything he wants. Like a raven. forgotten. I will always remember. I don't ever want to see you again. I'm your spirit, your heart, for the sake of your husband and your daughter. You will follow me. Leave us alone. Don't do this. What do you want? You. I'm stronger than I was the last time I lost you. You've mistaken me for somebody else. No, Terena. Why do you keep calling me that? If you won't come willingly, I will take you. class I had a baby crying behind me. You know, I swear they call and say I'm 18 months old and I want to sit right behind Nick Lindsay. <laughs> hey, you look great. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, Nick, there's something I, I wanted. Where's Melissa? Oh, she's at Wendy's. Uh, they're studying late. Oh. 
Well, I missed you. I am glad to be home. Yeah, I'm glad you're home, too. Oh. So, you get your story in? I did. Good. I did. So, it went well? Oh, yes, yes. It was a non-stop physics kind of a road show. So, the lecture was good? Yeah, it was good. The university wants me to make a presentation to the trustees. Do you have any idea how much I missed you? <laughs> I gotta get my shoes off. Okay. What? You okay? One day, I really appreciate the ride. Sure. We'll see you in class tomorrow. be Melissa. Who are you? My name is Ciro. Your mother's doing an article on me. Uh, I promised her this, but I don't want to disturb her. You'll see that she gets this. Okay. So lovely. I just want to get Melissa's breakfast. Well, why don't you just, just sit here for a moment with me, huh? Melissa can fend for herself. Nick, I'm really sorry about last night. I just, I can't begin to explain. Now to... that you've finished that article, we can have some more time alone. I know, but I have to No more excuses. Really Dad. Melissa. Mm. We missed you. Hi, Melissa. I missed you, too. How cold was Alaska? Well, Alaska was wonderful. Mm. Well, I'm... I can't wait and hear about it. Um, I have a field trip today, and I might miss a bus. Aren't you going to finish your breakfast? Mom, nobody eats breakfast except you. Oh, yeah, Mom, I almost forgot. That guy you're doing an article on, he was here last night. What a weirdo. He said to give this to you. He was here? Yeah, I ran into him out in front uh, after Wendy dropped me off last night. He said he didn't want to disturb you. Bye. Why don't you drop that off at the office? Oh, I guess it's just a thank you note or something. <laughs> 
I'm going to make some plans for us at the travel agency. Nick, I really think we should talk today. Later? Yeah. Nick. What? I'm really glad you're home. So am I. the ophthalmologist a complete loss of vision so suddenly is usually the result of an injury but there wasn't one in Nick's case well is this temporary or what Lee I can only tell you that all his vital signs are quite normal he's agitated of well, course but all right all right what can they do they have to run some more tests Henry, uh, see if there's any doctor. abnormalities in the eye or in the brain so what you're saying is that you don't know no they've already ruled out a number of problems they asked me to consult in case it might be stress induced Sometimes the reaction to severe stress can cause physical symptoms without any physical cause. You know, Dr. Mallory, that just doesn't sound like Nick. I mean, normal stress maybe, but hysterical? No. They gave it some kind of sedative, but I still don't feel very calm. I know. But you're not in any danger. All your vital signs are okay. I can't see I know, anything. I know. All I did was open the blinds. Yes, I, know, I know. I don't think they've ever faced anything like this yes, before. They're, they're running tests, and they'll figure it out. I need an answer. I love you. Something's happening to us. I am. Uh, I don't want to lose you. It's all right. It'll be all right. Did you reach Melissa? Uh, uh, no, she's on a field trip, but I'm uh. going to call the school again and get her down here right away. I'll be right back, okay? Promise. Don't worry, Leah. I'm going to help you. Infinity. What? This is the symbol for infinity. It has no beginning and no end. 
I've never seen the dots before. I think I know where I can look them up. And Terena? Terena. That's what he called me. Where are the pictures that you took of him? In here. Stay put. Where are you going? To do a little research on this saddle. Wait for Melissa and keep the doors locked. I can't stay here. I have to go to the hospital. I can't leave Nick alone. If you have to go, then well, just come right Raina. back. Raina, Sarah did this to Nick, didn't he? Well, I was okay until uh, until I brought my lunch, and uh, it's a good thing I couldn't see it because it really made me nostalgic for the airline food I had the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Daddy, you don't have to be funny right now. It's not your job to make us laugh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, how are you really feeling? I'm scared, sweetheart. More than I've ever been in my whole life. So am I, Daddy. So am I. <laughs> so, um, are they running the tests? Well, um, yes, I got an A on the optic nerve and I failed orbits. Well, uh, how, how was the field trip? Oh, you know, anything that you do for your education isn't exactly fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll, I'll be right. Okay, dear. Okay. Emily and Joanna, then you getting along okay? Yeah, we're good. Stay away from my family. Haven't you witnessed my power? Lee, I found it. Bear with me, my Spanish is good, but my Portuguese is muy lousy. The inner markings are geomantic figures, sort of like a divination system that goes back maybe 2,000 years. The one on the left, I think it's called Dragon's Head. It's a good sign, like a way to heaven. The one on the right, not so good, called Dragon's Tail. I think it's like a ticket to the other place. Um, this mark belonged to an evil brujo called Fet Feticeiro. Whoa, way too close. This Seiro had immense power in Brazil. Lee, we're talking the 17th century.
was no next of kin. You were listed as the one to notify. They're doing an autopsy. Heart attack, stroke. They don't know yet. Please sit down. I'm very sorry about your friend, Mrs. Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Sergeant, it wasn't a heart attack. It wasn't any of those things. Excuse me? Raina was murdered. Mrs. Lindsay, I know you're upset. There was a man. His name is Cero. He lives in San Paulo. He's threatened me, and Raina was trying to find out some things about him. There was absolutely no sign of foul play. You said she was in San Paulo, right? She often went there to visit. Uh, she worked with the local artists. No, not this time. Cero, Reina called him a brujo. He killed her. As a boy, I remember the brujos. Hispanic boogeymen. I am not going to drop this. I don't care what the autopsy says. Melissa! Melissa! Where were you? She's out getting the mail. I'm just very upset about your father and Raina, honey. Mom, not a little kid. Why are we talking to the cops? I just want to make sure that there's no foul play with Raina's accident. You mean like someone ran her off the road or something? Who would do that? She was in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I just want to make sure that they do an autopsy on her. I know you miss her. is my very best friend. And you are my very best, very dear daughter. <sighs> you don't have to worry about me, Mom. Have you talked to Dad? No, I haven't. I think I'm going to go call him. OK. Come here. I love you. I love you. Century. This is about hundreds of years of mystical spiritualism. I don't know what to make of it, but in legend, this Feticeiro disappeared a long time ago. That name he called you, Terena, she was his lover, but she ran from him. Terena hated what he had become, abusing his power, killing, stealing, doing evil to gain riches and glory. There are a lot of references to his spirit returning to try and win her back, just like in your dreams. But this is a damn legend, Lee. It's not supposed to be true. I'm going up there. I'm going to tell him to stop, to beg him to let you live your life. Ramirez, please. It's Mrs. Lindsay. I've already left my number. All right, it's 555-4129. Five, 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 
Yes, please. Uh, tell him it's urgent. Thank you. Melissa? I, uh, I talked to Daddy, and, um, he's feeling much better. Good. Good, I'm glad. Uh, step too late, okay, sweetheart? Okay. and counting. Melissa.
Let her go. You have forgotten so much. Oh, no. Now I remember. You betrayed Terena by misusing your powers. You ran from me, Terena. I am not Terena any longer. She is still your soul, and I will not leave without you. I will never join you. Then the girl is mine. Evil is only a choice. You chose against me long ago, and I have searched long and hard for your spirit. And now you have a chance to choose again. They couldn't figure out why I couldn't see, and now they can't figure out why I can. They want two more tests. Now, well, whether you want to admit it or not, there are some things that just cannot be explained. Says you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, I really am proud of you. Do you know that? Mm, thank you. Just because I'm an editor now? No, no, no. That's the easy part. What's hard for you is asking. Says you. Says me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. From Raina's Gallery, a delivery for Lee Lindsay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Who is it? Raina said she was working on a painting for me. I had no idea she finished it. Is that another one of her spiritual things? You like it? 